Joining us now is Health Minister Greg Hunt. Morning to you. This uh, third good booster morning. shot, uh, good news. Yeah. Uh, speaking of boosters, are you concerned about the take-up of the third booster, uh, that it's running a bit slow, and I'm finding a lot of people who have had Omicron are telling me, oh, I don't need to get the booster now because this gives me the same immunity. Mm. Mm. If, you, if you have had Omicron, you should still go and get, uh, and get your booster. So you're saying if you've had Omicron, you are not protected in the future. You still got to get your booster shot. That's a myth. Correct. Uh, boosters are for everyone. Problem That's the is, best outcome. And just, you, just take you, it easy. Uh, the Sorry? problem is, the problem is that the people have had enough. Um, we, we've, they've done everything that um, you know that you've asked of them. They've had the two, and now you're saying three, yeah. and, and then there might be four, and like Israel has done. So you're, batter, you're, you're really battling uphill uh, against convincing people to have a yet another jab. It's available, mm. so go and get it. Look, I mean, you say people are coming with you, and I think you know the majority are, but, I mean, you also just made the point that people aren't turning up to their booster appointments and they're going to waste. So, I mean, it, it's a tricky job to convince those who are not convinced. Tell me about it. So mandated? Not quite, Ali. Um, I've been asked that a few times, and, you know, as a, as a health minister, um, and I guess... Uh, just from being a human being, I just don't like the idea if we can avoid mandating, um, we will, but it might become necessary. But as we've been saying in the last couple of days, we could have done another 100,000 uh, last week. Um, people, we're setting up these facilities and people can book in and go and get them. But what we're seeing is that we have staff sitting there twiddling their thumbs. Growing concern at slowing rates. At the Olympic Park vaccination hub, more staff than patients lining up outside. People think that if they've had uh, COVID recently, that they don't need the booster. That booster is absolutely critical. Despite pressure from Dan Andrews, you still only need two jabs to be considered fully vaccinated. Peter, hey, health, health advice is that we need three jabs. So it has to change, doesn't it? You look at what's happening in aged care at the moment, it is an embarrassment that we have so many of our elderly, and Peter, who haven't had access to that booster shot. No, no it's, it's not embarrassing, Ellie. I mean, there are many reasons. There are some cases, well, uh, including in uh, some... Well, there, there are some issues around consent with families, for example, where, uh, you know, one, one daughter says that mum should have it, the other daughter says mum shouldn't have it. There are a whole range of issues as to why some parts of society are very complex. I don't think that's embarrassing at all, to be honest. So, Richard, would you mandate the booster? Well, I, I think what matters is that people are getting the booster and that those who want to get the booster can get it. Neither of you are here to say right now whether you will or won't mandate that booster. I mean, Peter, Peter, where is the leadership on these issues? Across the board, our bo the booster rates are still quite low. Because the virus is, is running out of people to find. To seize the vaccines, well, can I say to them that the vaccines are working and they're preventing a lot of Queenslanders from ending up in our hospitals. So I think they should stop spreading misinformation and I think um, perhaps they should go and speak to a, a medical professional to talk to them about how, how good it is to have the vaccine. And you weren't aware of that until now? No, I wasn't, no. Thank you for telling me. my nose when they do it and I feel like they go too far on my nose. It hasn't been a raging success but um, I think part of that is me learning how to do it properly. And maybe we need a booster, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> if people knew how many PhDs are unvaccinated, it would make their head explode.